Hello everyone, this is Ryan Grant from OnlineSellingReviews.com. In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look through Feedback Genius, which is a service that you can use to help automate emails to customers to help you maintain a positive feedback score when selling on Amazon. So right now I'm at the Feedback Genius homepage and I'm going to show you a few tabs within my account to give you an idea of how the service works and hopefully help you decide if this is a service that you would like to use for your business. So when you first log into Feedback Genius, you're going to be taken to a dashboard like this which shows your feedback summary for the past year and your current rating on Amazon and as well as the current messages that have been sent. So here you can see the current feedback summary you can see for the past 7, 30, 90, and 365 days, you can see your feedback percentages as well. If you take my percentage for the past 30 days, I've re received feedback on just under 7% of orders, and in the past 365 days, it's been around 4%. So since I've started using Feedback Genius about three months ago, my feedback percentage has gone up pretty significantly. So that's the dashboard. You'll be able to see your sent messages here and what is going out to customers. Then on this next tab is the messages where you will be choosing what gets sent to customers when and why. So I only have two automated emails set up and the first one is for perfect orders and it goes out immediately after the item is out for delivery. So the customer is going to be notified when the item is on a carrier vehicle and on the way to the customer's house or business. So basically they'll get an email as soon as Amazon says the item is out for delivery via the tracking. Feedback Genius picks up on that and sends the customer a notification that their item is about to be delivered today and that they should expect it and let me know if anything's wrong when they receive it. <clears throat> so that's the first of my messages. And then the second one is a request for feedback after delivery and this one gets sent four days after the item has arrived to the customer and asks for, for feedback from the customer and gives me a chance to correct any errors if the customer felt something went wrong with the transaction. <clears throat> so this tab is the same. Um, then here is inside the messages where you get to customize what the message says, when it gets sent, who it gets sent to, and all of those options. So you can customize all of this. So this is the first tab of the details and this is where you turn your messages <clears throat> on or off. And you can also do test mode. So if you want to see the messages that Feedback Genius is going to send out prior to actually actively sending the messages to the customers, you can use test mode. And then they're going to direct the emails directly to your own email address as opposed to to the customer. So that's a good way to test it out and see how it's working before you set it live. I left it in test mode for a few hours, saw that it was working well, and then switched it to active upon me signing up. So on the content tab, this is where you're going to edit your email that actually goes to the customer. This is my perfect orders message. It's slightly customized, but there are there is a stock message within Feedback Genius that you can use, and it's completely automated and you can you can pick exactly what you want this message to say. In this tab, you get to pick when the message is sent to the buyers. You can uh, pick any number of days as soon as possible when they're actually going to send it. The out for delivery one is nice because it gives the customer a heads up and makes them feel like you're providing a higher level of service to them. And you have a few other options there. This is where Feedback Genius really gets interesting in my opinion, is the filters section. This is where you can pick what types of items these feedback requests are sent out on. So you can customize which items or which orders have a feedback request sent and which ones are ignored. The key one I'm using is only new items. I do occasionally sell used items and there's a little bit higher chance of a negative feedback on used items just due to different expectations from customers. So I, I prefer to just do new, new items. And I'm using a fulfillment channel as any, but there is an option to do only FBA orders as well. So you have complete customization of what types of messages are sent out to 
not send messages again if cu the customer has already left you feedback. So if they respond or if the customer provides feedback after my first message, the second one will not be sent. Then you have the ability to do an attachment. This can be good if you're doing any bundling techniques that include an ebook or some sort of something that you included in the product detail that you need delivered to the customer. And then on this last tab, we have analytics, which is shows you the number of messages that Feedback Genius is sending out to customers on your behalf over time. So you can see they're sending out hundreds of messages for me on a regular basis. Um, on this last tab, this is your own account settings. You can pick your plan and uh, figure out, make sure your payment methods, that type of thing, are set up. They have a free plan as well. They have a couple um, paid different paid options as well. So here's the <clears throat> here's a look at the that I'm, I'm currently on the medium plan, which sends 3,000 emails per month. Um, the feedback monitoring that's one thing I didn't mention yet. If you do get a negative or a neutral feedback, which is a three star or less review on Amazon, Feedback Genius sends you a notification of that via email so that you can correct that issue with the customer or potentially with Amazon if the feedback is something that Amazon will remove. So not that you ever want to get those emails, but it's good to, it's, it's a nice addition to this service so that you can quickly address those negative feedback issues if and when they do arrive. <clears throat> So that's Feedback Genius in a nutshell. Hopefully this video gives you a good idea of what their service does. If you have any questions for me about this video, feel free to leave a comment below or head over to this review on onlinesellingreviews.com and leave a comment. That's all I have today. Hope it helps and thanks for watching.